Hey guys, let's visualize sine squared plus cosine squared equals one. This right here is the graph for sine of x. And this red one is sine squared of x. You'll notice how everywhere where the sine is negative, the sine squared becomes positive. And you can tell here in the positive area that the shape of the graph changes a little bit as well. So the sine squared of pi over two is equal to one. We can tell that because the height of the graph is one at x equals pi over two. We can shade from the x-axis to the height of the sine squared of x graph. The reason that's nice is because if I shift it upwards, it's no longer the height on the y-axis that tells me the function value, it's the height of the shading at each point that tells me the function value. I could even turn it upside down like this and it really wouldn't matter. Here at x equals pi over two, we can see that this height is still one. Next, we can look at the graph of cosine of x. And then in blue here, we have cosine squared of x. Let's get rid of this cosine of x. A shade between the x-axis and the y-axis so that the height of the shaded area gives us the function value. And now let's bring down our sine squared of x and you see they fit together perfectly. And that gives us sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to one. How exciting.